What's up guys? Dark Western back again. Now as you know, Pokemon has been completely sold out. Thanks Logan Paul. And so there really hasn't been anything to buy lately, unless I really want to pay out the S to scalpers, which I kind of don't want to do. So I decided to revisit something that I did a long time ago with my old shitty camera and shitty audio and all that shit. Uh, we're actually going to be checking out Queen's Blade The Duel. Dark Western? You're doing this again? Wow. Well, I can't forgive you this time, but I also can't just let you delete the footage. But I guess you have a less ghetto camera now. So fuck it. Make the video. I'm giving you anime aids, though. Have fun with that. Hell yeah. But before we do, I just wanted to introduce my co-host, Disabled Charizard. Hey buddy, how you doing? Yeah. And then there's Disabled Squirtle over here. We're actually gonna turn him around in shame for this one. He cannot see this. It is too dirty and too disgusting. And I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer about these cards. They are not pornographic, they do not have nudity, but they are very revealing. I'm sorry, six-year-olds, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Mom and Dad, get in here and turn off the TV for the kids, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, Disabled Charizard. I know it's not Pokemon, but Logan Paul made the world sell out of Pokemon. What am I supposed to do? You have to deal with this, okay? <sighs> Thank you. That's nice of you to materialize that. Uh, so, like all Japanese booster packs, these are the long packs, which means we can safely snip the tops off without hurting the cards. And I think it'll make the pacing on this video a little bit better. So I'm going to take a quick minute and assemble the box so you guys can see how it would look in a Japanese storefront. There it is. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? You would definitely just see this tucked away in some random shop. Uh, for some reason, all of the booster boxes come with a single card. It is the same as the art on the booster box, so it's not really all that interesting, to be honest. Alright, so let's take a look at pack number one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot how fucking risque these cards can be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's that one. I still don't know how to identify the rarities. Uh, we've got that one. We have that one. That one. That one's not so bad. God damn. <laughs> These are not subtle cards, as you can tell. And then we did not get a foil or anything in that pack. Which is unfortunate. I am not a huge fan of the Lolly style character. I know everyone else is, but I just can't get on board with that kind of shit. Okay, so far looking good. Very cold in that photo. Okay. <laughs> uh, nice. You could probably use a little more support, young lady. And that's the end of that one. We did not get any foils or anything. But yeah, if you guys know anything about this card game, uh, I would really appreciate a comment, because I buy these, you know, whenever, whenever I feel like it. I am planning on doing another one when we don't get all the missing cards I need, uh, but I really don't know a thing about this. So anyone with any info, please leave a comment. I also can't really find a whole lot on the internet either, which is really weird. I mean, I'm talking about this card game itself, not Queen's Blade, but this card game, The Duel. Alright. Her underwear is going to attack. 
She's doing that weird uh, meme face thing that all the anime girls seem to like to do recently, but this was way before that, in 2008. Uh, there's a very cold samurai in here. Another lolly character. I don't like that. There is uh, Yolandi Visser from Der D Ant Word. Uh, yikes. I actually don't think I have that card. <laughs> but come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to look up how old that character is, I think. <laughs> I don't like that. On to the next one. One funny thing about the other video, the old one I did, I actually had to redo the thumbnail like four or five times because YouTube kept rejecting it for nudity, even though there is technically no nudity. I think it was just butt cheeks and cleavage that YouTube did not agree with. We've got a duplicate. We have her spreading her butt up in the air. <laughs> Slicing some uh, ghosts there. Sticking her butt out. And then that's it. We didn't. We're not really getting a. I think the. I think you're guaranteed two foils per booster box. But I honestly, it's. I open these so fucking far and few between. I don't remember. Oops! The whole box just fell down. Thanks for that, lads. Okay, we will snip off the top here. And we're getting a bunch of duplicates. And I don't even remember the characters' names. Man, it is a right-handed fucking world. Uh, there's that one. There's that one. Okay, very not subtle. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that one, and that's it. <laughs> Here we have. Let me just angle the camera down. So. There we go. Oh, I see. She's being struck in the uh, armpit. Tragic. We've seen that card a bunch already. Nice. Okay. Pretty sure I have that card, but I just. It doesn't ring a bell for the old eyes. Okay, lolly character, and that's it. If we're gonna get any foils, they're certainly gonna make us earn them, aren't they? <laughs> and then this is the back of the card. Really interesting. There's a shadow. There's a uh, samurai girl with some nipple bumps. Nice. Speaking of which, there's another one for more of a mage. Reflection of a sword. The perfectly spherical breasted uh, warrior maiden. Yolandi again. And did we get a foil? Oh no, that's the last card. <laughs> we did not. Okay, at least they were saving them for the end. Another one. Okay, we have the uh, we have the youthful looking one, the perfectly spherical breasted warrior chick, Yolandi Visser getting struck in the calf. Owies. She doesn't look like she's enjoying that. I like how you put armor in some spots, but like, you know, obviously there are places where they could strike you that would hurt. Good call. Uh, looks like this one is a sword that's slashed across her arm and breast. Watch out. Oh, shit. Nice. There's the foil. Hell yeah. Let's just check out that last card real quick. Oh, it's the Naruto running card. Sick. We actually did get a foil. I think I already have this card, but I don't think I have it in foil. You guys think of that. The foils in the set are very, very beautiful cards. Number two. I know I'm missing number one, so that kind of sucks. Another one. Another one. 
Oh, I thought she was sneezing or something. I don't know what the hell this card's doing. Oh, but her underwear is falling off. God damn it, don't look. <laughs> Yolandi sticking her booty out. That's, fun. That's, That's pretty good. good. It's a very cold sorceress. Spherical breasted warrior. Spherical breasted warrior. And then the sorceress chick with her top getting destroyed. As you do when you're a sorceress. Let's open up another one. Oh yeah, here's just a quick intermission. So the cards, I believe the rarities are as listed. Oh, it's probably not worth taking the time to <laughs> just interrupt the whole video to show that. You guys are just here to see some boobies, see some butts. Speaking of which, that is a interestingly shaped rack you have there, miss. Perfectly sphered. There is the snake panties girl flying through the air, as you do. Ah, uh, looks like the sword has sliced off her little spaghetti strap and her underwear is gonna fall right off. As you do constantly when you're a samurai. Oh, shit! I don't have that one, holy shit! Ah, uh, there's that. Let's take a peek at that card. Wow, that looks like it's probably one of the better ones to get in foil. Wow. That's crazy. Nice. Okay. All right, I think that's it for foils. I Like I said, I think there's only two per booster box. But we'll go ahead and take a quick sneaky peek at the rest of the cards in there. And then I'll try to give you guys a zoom in on some of these. How's that? These are really oddly formatted cards, so it's hard to tell. Okay, there's the uh, swordswoman. Very lusty, lusty looking sorceress chick. Sticking her tongue out. That's pretty good. Oh, looks like you done broke your ankle. But the snake is keeping your lady bits safe, so that's probably pretty good. There's the child again. I don't like that. And it's not really a child, I'm just saying that. And there is the sorceress chick filleting a tentacle, as you do when you're a sorceress chick. And that's it. Now we are on to the last pack. The very last pack. I almost couldn't grab it because I have no depth perception whatsoever. Snippy, snippy, snip. This one always cracks me up. So basically, you got this uh, snake panties girl who has been struck in the arm. The only spot where she bothered putting armor on. What are the chances? <laughs> and then we have a sword reflection. Okay. There is the very youthful looking adult spreading her legs open like no proper lady ever should. We have Yolandi Visser getting sliced in the armpit again. Ooh, that's a nice one, okay. I don't think I have that one either, but I honestly can't remember. We got some kind of a little demon lady trying to get all up inside the cape or whatever she's wearing. I don't know what's going on here, but that's pretty good. And the last card is the spherical breasted warrior chick. So, now that that's over, I think what we can do is take a look at the old binder and see if we got any of the cards we were missing. Okay, let's take a look and see if we got number two. Not only do we have number two already, but we actually already have it in a foil. Shit, that's a little disappointing. Look at that. Damn. Let's go on to the next one. She is number 93. We'll go ahead and take a little peek for that. If I could ever make it fucking stand up. All right, 93, there's 109, 92. God damn it, are you serious? I already have that card too, ain't that some shit? <laughs> God damn it, God, that's disappointing. Okay, so we are still missing card number one. That is disappointing. 
We are still missing card number five, also disappointing. <laughs> Look at that one, there's just no tact behind these cards whatsoever. And this binder is extremely awkwardly, there's no way to fucking, maybe if I move all this bullshit. So, card number two, unfortunately for me, I already have it, and I already have it in a foil, so that's, that fucking sucks. <laughs> I guess this way we can kind of just give you guys a little peek at the binder itself. Uh, we are missing card number five still. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, what do you guys think of these cards uh, outside of the obvious? Oh, and look, we did have that one. And we have it in a foil and non-foil. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we are missing number 23. Let's take a quick peek and see if we have that card. Okay, that is a negative. We did not get card number 23. That sucks. We'll keep going. Keep going down the binder. Let you guys get a good look at these here uh, cards. For anyone who hasn't seen these before, this might be kind of interesting. Looks like we are missing card number 41. We'll go ahead and take another quick peek and see if we pulled it. Alright, we also did not get card number 41. So that's equally as disappointing. Uh, looks like we have this whole page pretty good and then we've got this whole page I like I said this is my least favorite character I don't like how young she looks but whatever some foils down there in the bottom right So disappointed that we already had that card too. I really have no memory of getting that card, so that sucks. We had pretty much nothing out of this. Moving along, some more of the beautiful sorceress lady. We did have that one too, so we're missing 56 and 60. Let's take another quick peek. So as it turns out, we didn't get anything new. <laughs> this one's just for you guys, for the eye candy. And speaking of which, I wanted to give back just a little bit to one special person. I don't know who you are, but I hope you appreciate this. I'm going to give away a random code card for Pokemon Shining Fates. Actually, let's do two. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me which ones were your favorites. Have you got any of these? Uh, what do you think? And... I will see you guys probably in the next one where I open Pokemon cards again, hopefully if they ever come back to shelves again. And I just wanted to give a little disclaimer. But before we do that, I wanted to give a little bit of a backstory. I've actually been buying these cards for some time, for quite some time. The set was originally released in 1998? No. What are you doing, Focus? Come on. Come on, what the f <laughs> I gotta remember to hold the cards using my right hand so that the light doesn't cast a gigantic shadow over the fucking things. Okay, this thing's gotta go. <laughs> it's just not working out. It's not working out. This keeps sliding around because they're not meant to be upside down like this, obviously. Oh, I'm being slimy. Does that look retarded? I think that looks retarded. Oh, I'm still recording, okay. God, it smells like fucking weed. Can you guys get better weed downstairs? Man, that is the best baby crying outside. 